Google is trying to kill C++. <gasps> well, that's not entirely true. At C++ North on July 20, 2022, Chandler Carruth from Google gave a talk titled C++, What Comes Next? Chandler highlighted that every major language we know and love has had a successor. C was followed by C++, JavaScript, TypeScript, and Java, Kotlin. But what will follow C++? A better question is, why replace C++ in the first place? The answer is that C++ is wrought with technical debt resulting from trying to keep it backwards compatible with A, previous versions of itself, and B, its predecessor, C. As a result, improving the C++ language is extremely difficult, often resulting in confusing syntaxes and awkward interfaces. Also, the C++ standard is governed by ISO, or the International Organization of Standardization, which, like any large international organization, has its own complicated set of processes and bureaucracy that make agility hard to come by. Enter Carbon, an experimental language by Google intended to succeed C++ like C++ replaced C. Carbon is designed with the following requirements. Performance matching C++, which is one of the main reasons developers still use C++ in a world full of easy to use garbage collected languages like Java. Seamless bi-directional integration with C++, otherwise what's the point? And finally, and most importantly, a package manager, because come on C++. Wait, but what about Rust? All right, hold your horses. If you're already using Rust and are comfortable with your code base, well, keep going. Rust is a next generation language with safety and performance in mind, just like Carbon. However, Carbon is designed for places where Rust just doesn't work. Expanding a large C++ code base into Rust is near impossible, and Carbon attempts to tackle that through its backwards compatible C++ interoperability. To install Carbon, use the Homebrew package manager and install it on your computer. After that, install Basilisk or Basil. Also use Brew to install LLVM. LLVM is pretty huge with a lot of dependencies, so this takes a few seconds. With all that done, use Brew to export the LLVM environment path into your local path on your computer. With all that done, you can actually clone the Carbon repo and use Basil to compile the Carbon build system with LLVM. With all that complete, you can explore how Hello World works, how Carbon uses pointers, and how Carbon makes use of its new revolutionary generic type system to get around complicated C++ templates. So, is Carbon ready for production? No, not even close. There's a lot of work to do to get Carbon to a place where it can start actually taking the place of legacy C++ code. Guys, if you like this video, leave a like, hit subscribe, and go watch this video I think you'll enjoy just as much.